Today we're making this beautiful short bow tie. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome again to Pretty Little Divas Craft Class and today we're making this beautiful uh, shirt bow tie worn mostly by women on their shirts by the color. It's kind of like a brooch too, has this beautiful embedded embellishment. So let's get right to it and see how this shirt brooch is being made. Alright, so now we're going to use 20 centimeters of um, lace ribbon and satin ribbon. We're cutting out two pieces each of both. Now I'm trimming um, the excess lace ribbon. It's a bit longer than the satin ribbon. And next we're heat sealing to join both together using this metal tool called a forcep. We're going to apply some heat just to join the two together. We're going to do that on both ends to come back to join both the lace ribbon and the satin ribbon. All right, now we're done heat sealing. The next thing would be to fold each ribbon into just to locate the center. If you cannot do this, you can always use your, your ruler to trace the center and use a head pin or any kind of pin you have to uh, mark that center point. There's a reason why we're doing this. We're going to do this same thing for the other ribbon. We're going to mark locate and mark the center and just pass it through that same head pin this is to um, get the center of both ribbons just to make it accurate if you're gonna be wearing a collar brooch or a shirt bow tie you want both the left side and the right side to be equal so we have to be a bit careful or a bit meticulous when it comes to locating the center of your ribbon. So here we have located the center. Now we're just going to form our first bow by folding and uh, passing the tip. Remember to, we have heat sealed, so there's very little possibility of our ribbon pulling through the, of our pin pulling through the ribbon. So we're just going to repeat the same procedure for both uh, for all four ends Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to use our needle to tack or to hold all four um, pieces of ribbon or all four ends. We're going to tack to hold them together so none would um, easily pull or not loosen.
all right so we're done with that next would be to make another um area of our bow tie so we're using three different um sizes of ribbon 18 19 and 20 centimeters you can combine colors as you wish you can use the same color for everything you can use only satin you can combine with lace whatever it is you're comfortable with so what i'm trying to do here is to make another set of um not not a complete bow but just to fold the ribbon in this way so that we can use it to decorate the bow we're going to add this on top the bow that we just made all right so we're done with all three and now we're just going to layer them on top of each other from the lot from the widest to the to the least wide because <laughs> they're all wide Alright guys, the thing is, um, I would, right now all I have for this is uh, my, my hot glue, another very good substitute if you want to make seamless um, work like this would be to use the double faced um, cello tape, it's sold in most craft stores, you can just ask them, the ones that are not chunky and the ones that are um, transparent, not the white ones those would leave less residue the problem with hot glue is once it dries up it kind of makes your ribbon to be very thick at that end so it will be very difficult for your needle to pass through it say you want to pass your needle through it for some reason all right so now we're making the base of the ribbon this is the third section of our ribbon and after this we're going to make the embellishments and we'll be through with this shirt brooch Alright guys, if you love what you're watching so far, please do like this video and subscribe to this channel so you would see uh, more of content like this on your notifications when I upload new videos.
all right guys so we're almost done coupling or we first made um, different batches or sections of our bow tie and our last um, addition would be our the addition of our embellishment which is beads i'll leave a link somewhere up or down there to um, show you how this was made with um, box pearl beads not the original pearls the faux pearl, <laughs> pearl beads that's how this was made so it's very easy just follow the link that i left and i'll also leave the link in the description so you can follow and um, learn to make this for yourself After adding our embellishment, the next thing to do would be to apply or add our brooch pin and to do that we would be using felt, a felt circle of 3 centimeters in diameter. We're just going to nip or cut both ends here, just gonna cut it to make a little hole right there and then through that hole we would be passing our um, wow that's a bit big we're going to be passing our brooch pin if you like you can um, attach way bigger brooch pin bigger brooch pin not way bigger <laughs> something um, wider than this brooch pin so after adding this we're going to make sure we adjust and then um, apply some glue to secure our brooch pin you can see it's dangling a bit so we need some glue to secure after adding our brooch to the felt circle we're just going to apply some more glue and then um, centrally place our felt circle and brooch in the center of the brooch at the back okay so it's very important we centrally place this felt circle on the brooch because we do not want our brooch our bow tie our shirt bow tie we do not want it to be lopsided when hung on our shirt so try as much as possible to centrally place your brooch pin okay guys so um i would appeal to you if you love this content please try follow and like and subscribe to my channel see you next time with some more amazing craft videos bye